This is called Sodom and Gomorrah Go to the Zoo. It was a happy love goblin time. Loving happy blueness in the trellis whoop dolly. Gee whiz, merry loop de loos of gorgeous green. Gangs of interesting people nodding off in the aftermath of sleepy time. There were nose piercings in the Goo Goo Nada gallery. Picking teeth with the best butcher butt putter nuga bichus. And the salamander goodness of treaties improper made our houses smell cheery as beets in the honey love muffin. Outside the gumdrop mountains, in the valley of Persephone flowers, down underneath the ether bunnies' foodie holes. <laughs> there was a goon bobbing, gobbling peaches like a good little goon gobbler, green and gangly and great. And the proof of the prettiness in the eyes of the pulchritudinous sat like Lucifer loogies on logarithms of dynamic systems muddling their way through mazes of merry discontent. Goons gazed gleefully at that, and glowing grins emerged beneath trellises. The sweet saltwater stick in the licking sand sealant. The poofy pious preachers with their pins on purple hearts. Lightning loosing leafy lichens violently stirring valley parking on Goons' march of triumphant and harmonic dissonance. This is the way to town. Turn left. Go home. Light a fire in the fireplace and stoke it until it is really, really hot. BG squirting bits of your lovely beaded hair in the erected monuments of our silly land. Now crispy and frittered salt on top of your wavy, thick steak fries. <laughs> When the garden has melted in the sunset of Euphrates' epiphanies, all warm and sunny rays were you. And the goons do know it, little beaded braid of bedlam, as do the little auspicious angels. Although the goons do surmise and exuberate, the angels submit to smiling behind poofy white clouds. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>